Well, a couple of things. So whenever you're working with metal, you always want to wear at least a pair of safety glasses. These are industrial safety glasses. The reason why I know they're industrial is because they have Z87 stamped on the side of them. Some of this metal, whenever you cut it, leaves sharp edges on it that can very easily tear your flesh and just rip the skin right off of you. So you always want to wear some type of leather glove. I don't really don't recommend cloth gloves because they can tear very easily. Use leather. And if you want to keep the sparks out of your hair, wear some type of little welder's cap or a little do-rag. The reason why I'm building this a pit this big is that, well, the cooking area is six foot nine from one end of the grill to the other end. Its width is 29 inches. Now, the reason why I'm building this is because I want to be able to cook a whole hog. A whole wild hog, wild hog on it. Just shoot it, gut it, throw the whole thing on there, head and all. And then let it smoke for 12, 14 hours. And then you come along, cut it, and just pull the meat right off the bone. Some, in some cultures, that's called pulled pork. But anyway, another thing I want to try to do with this is make beef jerky. Make my own jerky. My own smoked sausage, and this is the firebox. It's a little over two foot long. And you regulate the amount of air going into the firebox by opening and closing that. If you want to let your fire get going real good, you open it to let your fire get going. Then whenever you're cooking, you turn that down like that or, or close it so that only a limited amount of air can get into there. The, this is a old, this is a section out of a 150 gallon propane tank for the air or for the heat and the smoke to get from this section to this other part on my tools. So I cut a hole in the top of the head. That's for all the heat to come through right there. I haven't welded all this in yet, so there we go. And the heat and the smoke can come through here, go across the meat, then I have a piece of five and a half inch pipe, about four foot long welded to the top of it. I have some one inch by one eighth flat bar I'm going to put on these doors here in just a few minutes. That's my next little project, that in the top of the smokestack. And be able to seal the doors off to smoke the meat, to make sure it gets a good smoke flavor to it instead of just cooking it. There's gonna be a flapper on top of the smokestack. You can close that flapper off a little bit and the smoke will build up inside the pit. And it'll start the smoke wheel create like a cavity in here and as it fills as the pit fills up it'll start leaking out through the doors. Well I am almost halfway done with what I wanted to get done for today and I'll get back with y'all in a few minutes.